Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our third example of how to find the divergence, simply going to the methodology of calculating the divergence of this particular vector field. We have an x, a y, and a z component. So the divergence of this vector field, we can write it like this, is equal to the partial derivative with respect to x of the x component plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the y component of the vector field, whoop, I'm not ready yet here, plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the z component. And then plugging those in, the partial with respect to x of the x component is x, y, e to the z, plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the y component, y, z, e to the x, plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the z component, which is x, z, e to the z. All right, the first one here, that's relatively easy because only x is the variable, these are the constants, so this becomes y, e to the z, plus here the y is a variable, these are the constants, so this becomes z, e to the x, and then plus, now here it's something slightly different because notice we have this would be the constant but this is a variable and e to the z that's the variable as well so we have a product quantity here so we do have to use the product rule so this becomes x being the constant we write the x times and here of course we use the product rule we take the first times the derivative of the second which is e to the z plus the second times the derivative of the first, which is 1. So this becomes equal to y e to the z plus z e to the x plus x times, and of course we could factor out an e to the z, so let me do that, x times e to the z times z plus 1. And that would then be the divergence of this particular vector field.